Hi, I'm Sean. I'm on the content team here at Duda. Uh, and today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about website schema. Uh, this is a popular tool in SEO. And if you've been working with Duda for any amount of time, you know that we include a lot of it automatically on your website. What you might not know is that there's a wide range of schema that search engines like Google will accept to kind of enhance how your website appears in search results. So if we come to Google's developer portal um, and we look at the navigation bar they here, have here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a wide range of what they call structured data markup features uh, that they support. Everything from articles to breadcrumbs, both two types of schema that are built into Duda, as well as some that, that aren't, like events, job postings, and learning videos. Duda makes it really easy to support these types of schemas that aren't natively built in uh, using the HTML widget, um, as well as a third-party schema generator. Um, what I'd recommend is coming to this website first looking to see if there's any value to adding the schema, because there's far more schema available than what you'll see on Google's website. Um, but only the stuff they offer right now uh, might be worth putting your effort into if you're looking to have like a unique search feature. Uh, for this example, we're going to be looking at a restaurant website based on one of the new templates available. Um, and we're gonna create a blog post about how to make tiramisu for two. Uh, so when I open this blog post right here, you're going to see a nice little image and a recipe about how to make tiramisu. We can enhance this blog post um, and enhance its appearance in search with recipe schema, one of the supported uh, markup types that Google has listed. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this structured data generator. Um, I'm using one on a website called webcode.tools, but there are plenty available. Um, and you can write it yourself too if you wanna kinda get extra credit for this. Um, what I've done already, so there's a little bit of movie magic happening, is I've already put the recipe into the, uh, into the schema generator. We have the name, we have the prep time, cook time, um, description, some keywords. I've added the image, the ingredients, and the steps. Um, this is going to give, if we come back here to Google's website and pop over to the recipe section, um, as you can see from their example images, it's going to give a more interactive experience for Google. Um, and it's gonna make it easier for it to surface this recipe on things like voice search, um, for it to be able to walk you through, as well as other areas. Um, so if I come back to this, all we really have to do is just put all this info into the generator, copy the code, so I'm gonna do that right now. All the way to the top, gonna command C. Go back in the editor, and then we're gonna add the HTML widget. This is even easier in Editor 2.0 because uh, schema does not have anything visual. So when you paste it here and hit update, you can see that the widget is now kind of vanished into the page. Uh, that can make it hard to come back and edit this, uh, but the layers panel makes it easy to find this HTML widget. So we can come back in the future and edit it or delete it. But that was all we needed to do for this. So I'm gonna hit republish post. I'm going to come to my website. Um, and I'm going to go to that blog post. Um, like, you, like we saw, because it's just an HTML widget uh, with, with some schema code, it doesn't look any different. But I can copy the URL right here. I can come to this validator, uh, which is validator.schema.org, and I can paste the URL and click Run Test. Uh, you're gonna see two schema were detected immediately. First, blog posting. Like I mentioned, there's many we generate on our own, so we've already generated this as a blog post. And then the new one, the recipe schema. So you see zero error, errors, zero warnings, and all this brand new data that's gonna help search engines like Google kind of rank your contact a little bit higher. I mean, it took us just a couple seconds to do. So nice, easy win.